but police do have a person of interest that they want to talk to related to the violence that happened today. If we can put that picture up on the screen, DC police want to talk to Raymond Spencer. If we can go ahead and put that up on the screen, 23 years old from Fairfax, Virginia. He is believed to be a person of interest mm -hmm. and there is a lot of talk about a video that is circulating that may have had some connection to him that they are attempting to authenticate. Right. It's something that we're not showing yet because we don't know if it is an authentic representation of what happened today. Mm -hmm. And we have had a chance to look at it and it is horrific They're if horrible. it is yeah. indeed connected to this. And we want to be responsible. Uh, we live here too. Mm -hmm. You are our neighbors and we want to make sure that the information that we give you is accurate. Yeah, we heard Assistant Chief Emmerman saying a minute ago asking uh, Raymond Spencer to turn himself in. Mm -hmm. He's a person of interest right now. Uh, saying they simply want to have a conversation to figure out if he's tied to the events that unfolded today. So clearly a lot to figure out. We know that police are also still canvassing that area. The assistant chief mentioned that they're not done. They're still urging people to shelter in place if you can, because they are still navigating that scene to uh, assume, I assume, locate Mr. Spencer. You may be wondering, where did these shots come from? Why did they ring out when they did? Why were there so many shots? Mm -hmm. Why did this all happen? And those are answers that the police don't have yet and that we don't have either. So as we continue to process all that happened today, all the lives that were touched, all the infrastructure that was impacted, mm -hmm. all the families now that may be still trying to get home, yeah. all these families that haven't had a chance to see and touch their loved ones, there's still lots of things to work through in terms of how and why this happened today. Yeah, we want to get back to our Casey Nolan, who was uh, standing by at that press conference a little earlier, and we know that the mayor and uh, law enforcement, they are going to have another press conference a little later tonight. Uh, what are you hearing in the meantime, Casey? Yeah, they're saying potentially uh, at 10 p.m. They, they're not really uh, committing to a time just yet, and I think that just speaks to the, how much they don't know yet. Uh, you know, that was, uh, something this is a, an environment where they are you know not only investigating a scene here but they have the virtual world to contend with as well that video was like wildfire going around and people wanting to know some answers about it and they have now confirmed that that's at least something they want to know more about too enough so that they would publicize this young man's name and ask him to come in raymond spencer 23 years old from fairfax come in so we can talk. Turn yourself in was one of the phrases they used. So again, uh, still an active scene. They do not have anyone in custody. And, and beyond this space where we are now, they are also looking at bullet holes at a business a couple of blocks away to see whether this scene spread even farther than they originally thought. We'll send it back to you. As again, the antennas of this, it happened in that small area, but the impact of what happened today is much broader. Yeah, and let's listen to what, the, what the mayor had to say just a short time ago. Unfortunately, I had to look in parents' eyes tonight who were terrified. And uh, they were terrified thinking of what might happen to their children. And we have experienced this too much in our country. The epidemic of the gun violence, the easy access to weapons has got to stop. People should not be scared taking their children to school. And that's exactly how she should have ended it. Yeah. End of statement. Yeah, that's right? it. And, and it's really not just an issue at schools as well, but you think about the people who live in these communities and they're dealing with what we've seen take Let's place. Go to them. Let's go to these buses. Yeah. Buses are yeah. arriving. These buses right here, these are the kind of sirens <laughs> we want to see because it's an urgent matter to reunite the children at Edmund Burke with their parents. Finally happening some almost four and a half hours after this all began. Yeah, heading to the Cleveland Park Library where a lot of those parents we saw were just standing there just waiting for that connection to hug their children again. They've been texting, calling all day, uh, but you know, that just doesn't hit the same. The weekend can finally begin. Our coverage of this day continues tonight, both on air and online at 11 o'clock and always on WUSA9.com.